Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Claire. Welcome to our Technology for Teaching and Learning Module 2 online session entitled Digital Technology and Media Literacy. So what are the learning outcomes for this session? One is to explain the digital technology and media as well as information literacy. Second, to examine why media literacy is an essential skill that every learner must have. Third, to explicate the five components of information literacy. Digital technology is a term that refers to the use of devices that enable a person to access the internet. This term was synonymously used by educators as application to the utilization of ICT, educational technology, computer-based education, and technology-enhanced learning. Media literacy can be defined as the ability of a person to access, analyze, identify, create various types of media, and act according to various methods of communication. Information technology is the ability of a person to recognize when information is needed and have the capacity to locate and appropriately use such information. Nowadays, people are taking a vast amount of information coming from various media sources such as the radio, newspapers, magazines. There are also texts, memes, social, videos, online games, and many more. But all this media shares one thing, or someone created it, and it was created for a purpose. Understanding the purpose serves as the basis of media literacy. Luckily, the digital age has made it easy for every person to create any form of media regardless whether it's legitimate or not. For this reason, media literacy is crucial for the learning and teaching process. In this era, media literacy is an essential skill that every person must acquire, especially now that we are in the digital age. With media literacy, it helps a person learn to think critically. Hence, every time we receive information, we must decide whether that Im information makes sense, such as determining whether the ideas that were presented are valid. For this reason, you should learn to critically identify various support of your opinion. Next is it enables a person to become a smart consumer of products and information. Media literacy enables an individual to determine whether something is legit or credible. This enables a person to find out the reliability of information and resist the techniques of marketers who use this to sell their products. Thirdly, is the recognized point of view. Every creator has a perspective, thus identifying an author's point of view helps a person appreciate various perspectives thereby enabling a person to put information in the context of what he already understands. In addition is to create media responsibly. Recognizing our own perspective, doing what you want to say or do, and how you want to do it, and also ensuring that your messages make sense are the keys to effective communication. Next is to identify the role of the media 
anchored on one's context or culture. If you notice that from celebrity gossip to Facebook buzz to memes, you will realize that media is shaping, if not influencing, our understanding of the world and then compelling us to behave, act, or think in a certain manner. Worse, these media are dictating us how we should connect, how we should behave, which are sometimes in contradiction to our own culture. Sixth is to understand the author's goal. Here, we are going to find out if the author's intention from that piece of media. We need to identify if it is purely for information dissemination or is it trying to change your mind. So when you capture what type of influence that media or information has, you can then make informed choices. With this, let's discuss information literacy. The term information literacy may be defined as the ability of an individual to acquire access, evaluate, and utilize information. Bear in mind that information literacy necessitates these components. Identify, apply, evaluate, and citation of sources of information. This time, let's discuss also information literacy, which is defined as a lifelong learning process. If you just realize every day, we encounter a variety and diverse of information through the web, mass media, and unpublished works which are presented in various formats from an endless number of sources and so with the quality of information they vary from junk to relevant available information choices so as future educators you must begin in selecting on how you retrieve sources information that are coming from reliable sources against those biased outdated misleading or false sources since online search is enables us to gather information then it is vital that we acquire information literacy competency so that we can effectively handle the sheer amount and variety of information moreover information literacy skills are essential for you to be successful in your personal professional and academic life hence at your age you must use and enhance your skills to perform well in your school projects and online activities once at work the skills that you develop will also be used as you seek to make logical and valid decisions with this allow me to share the five components of information literacy wherein an information literate person can readily identify find evaluate apply and acknowledge so we have identify as the first component if you consider yourself as information literate person then it is expected that you can identify information needs and find out the extent of information needed and concisely answer the questions needed or required to perform second you can locate or find and retrieve relevant sources of information in here it is expected that you can understand the structure of information, how it is created, disseminated, organized, stored, and retrieved. Likewise, having the ability to use indexes and other search tools effectively 
and efficiently in order to find specific resources. For example, you have the appropriate means to formulate research or search strategies, techniques, and evaluate results every time you do online homework. Thirdly, is to synthesize or apply. A person must have the ability to apply the information retrieved and integrate it to current level of understanding, then later apply it in real-life situations. Fourth is to evaluate. A media literate person can assess information and its sources critically. For this, it is important to understand the various types of sources and formats and how to utilize them. Another is to assess the appropriateness and reliability of the information. Lastly, is present or acknowledgement. An information literate person acknowledges this newly acquired knowledge so that others can use it. By this, we're going to determine the audience needs and the best presentation format. Hence, you should know the standards and criteria for presenting information. Likewise, the proper citation of sources. That ends my lesson on digital technology and media literacy. If you want to receive more updates, simply hit the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Teacher Claire.